And a follow up this morning. It's not often that students get to help build their new school, but that's exactly what happened in Commerce City three years ago. I was there when the Stead School opened to just ninth graders at that time, and since then they've added grades each year. So now those kids who were helping paint their school are seniors. They took me on a tour of the campus that doesn't exactly do things the traditional way, and that's why they say it works. Chickens, <laughs> reptiles, and even where are the cockroaches? Not something I would typically ask on a school tour. This is new to me being in a school where cockroaches are part of the learning here. <laughs> yeah, so these are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. We basically raise them and breed them to feed to our other reptiles here. That's part of the science at the STED school, not STEM, STED, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Agriculture and Design. The school in 27J opened with just ninth graders in 2021, offering hands-on project-based learning with a focus on career and technical education. We don't want to be labeled as a farm school. We have lots of different things that our students do. So those are skills that they're building. Animal husbandry has a lot of skills that are applicable to all of those. And while there's plenty of plant and animal life to learn about, these students are really learning through agriculture as the seniors I spoke with shared. Did you have a reason you wanted to come to so Stead I was, School? I was more interested in the project-based learning side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has helped develop an interest in agriculture for me to the point that I did an internship on horticulture over the summer. The school has a goal of getting 60 to 75 percent of the seniors in internships, and those could be in any number of industries from agriculture to health care and engineering to audio production. So we have our own uh, podcast that we have here at Stead um, that students help do. Um, but this is, like I said, this is where students can come. They can make their completely own songs. One thing the school hasn't had for its first three years, a grass field for sports. That's now under construction thanks to a grant from Adams County. Every high school has wellness and, and health and PE. We have that, we have those instructors and they've been really creative the past few years because of our lack of facilities. But we're really excited to have this opportunity. Um, again, it helps just build well-rounded students. These seniors will get a chance to enjoy the new playing field in the spring before they become the first graduating class at Stead, and they hope the school continues to grow. You get to be the first senior class, but you also have to leave before everything's completely finished. Yeah. What does that feel like? I'm sad to leave before it's fully finished because I did want to see it all the way through, but I'm also just happy because the new freshmen get to experience that. Yeah, so Stead now has all four grade levels, 9 through 12, over 400 students and chickens anytime you go on campus doing an interview, which is Ooh, rare cool for concept. me. So. Yeah.